First tonight, we look at the new parental rights policies making news across the entire country. That's right, Kayla. The issue is becoming deeply dividing, with some saying the policies are protecting children and some arguing it goes against human rights. Our Fiona Sarita joins us live from the Nate Hallways with more on that story. Thanks, guys. This story continues to develop every day, causing strong opinion and discussion. This comes after Premier Danielle Smith released a video on social media last week outlining the new proposed policies. My fellow Albertans, today I wish to address a very sensitive issue involving our children and gender identity. The video outlines gender identity in school, the age at which gender reassignment can begin, and the rules surrounding transgender athletes. In my view, one of the greatest responsibilities we as parents, teachers, and community leaders have is to preserve for our children the right to grow and develop into mature adults so that they are better prepared to make the most impactful decisions affecting their lives. Many are opposing the policy with some believing it is against basic human rights. Rallies took place over the weekend in both Edmonton and Calgary in protest to the new proposed legislation. Hundreds gathered to show their concern with NDP leader Rachel Notley giving a short speech. This government is attacking our fundamental human rights. According to the policy, minors 15 and under will need parental consent if they wish to go by a new name or pronoun in school. Those 16 and 17 will not need consent, but the parents will need to be notified. Some are concerned this will lead to an unsafe environment at home if the parent does not agree with the decision. A school walkout in Leduc also took place Wednesday morning. It's magical to watch from the sidelines and to see these kids organizing together to use their voices in a very democratic way. Lexi McFarlane is a play-by-play -play broadcaster for the hockey teams at Nate. They identify as gender fluid and also share some concerns. I think what it should be is that the minor should have uh, most of the say in it, especially if they're on the adolescent side of childhood. Others praise the policy, emphasizing the relationship between a child and their family and a parent's right to know what is going on in the classroom. Premier Smith really needed to do this. And the reason is that there's been escalating tensions going on. Now, if she were to let this continue without restoring the trust of parents, then we would see very large problems in our school system. Now, it must be said that these policies are not finalized yet. They are set to go through the legislation process in the upcoming fall session. The Premier says that consultations with the LGBTQ community will continue in the meantime. So Fiona, this news has made it all across Canada, is that right? Yeah, Kayla, there have been many protests and counter-protests outside of Alberta as well, including many in Ontario, where the Premier visited this week. The news has also attracted the attention of the federal government as well. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says that these are the most anti-LGBTQ policies in the entire country and is an attack on vulnerable youth. Federal MP Randy Boisano calls the measures draconian and that he is, quote, rightly terrified with concern that this will lead to unsafe homes and homelessness for these kids. And what about the news regarding sports? This is impacted by these policies as well, right? Yes, absolutely. So the new policy will ban transgender athletes from competing against biological female athletes. This policy claims that the trans female athletes have an unfair advantage over the biological female athletes. So what this policy means is that trans female athletes will only be allowed to participate in all gender competitions or co-ed competitions. The Premier has stressed that all athletes should be able to compete in whatever sport they choose. This is just to make it more fair for everyone. Thanks, Fiona. It'll be interesting to see where this story goes next. That's Fiona Sarita reporting live from our news center tonight.